in the in Genesis in the book of beginnings the Lord makes man and woman and he puts them into a beautiful garden the garden of Eden in chapter 2 of Genesis we read and then the the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden to work it and to take care of it and the Lord commanded the man you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And if you do eat of that tree, you will surely die. You know, he told Adam and Eve in the garden to be fruitful and to multiply. And he gave them dominion and he gave them authority and power over every creeping thing. And... And he said, you know, I want to come and have fellowship with you. And this message is all about walking in the garden with our Father. You know, our Father is the creator of all things. If your Father is God, the Almighty, the Jehovah, He is ruler over all things. He created all things. He created you. And I believe that that's what he's saying to the body of Christ right now, that he wants us to have fellowship with him. He wants us to, to enter back into the garden uh, where he can come and talk with us and walk with us and, and tell us that, that we belong to him and he belongs to us. He wants that. He desires our fellowship and our communion. And he's saying to the body of Christ, come into my garden. Come and talk with me. Come and walk in my ways. And this is a, a season. You know, I, I'm reminded of that, that uh, old hymn that says, uh, I walk, he walks with me and talks with me and tells me that I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, no other can ever know. He desires that fellowship with us. You know, in Adam and Eve in the, in the, in the first in the Garden of Eden, they disobeyed and they sinned and they had to leave that garden. They had to leave that fellowship uh, with, with their father who came in the cool of the evening to talk with them. I desire for God to talk to me. We need to hear his voice in the garden as he whispers to us. As he tells us how much he loves us. We need to have dominion and we need to rule over the things of this life. Because he has given us dominion and he has given us rule. It says, let the word of God rule in your heart richly. You know, and if we turn over to Romans uh, chapter 5, we find out that Jesus Christ brought the garden back into our reach. We can go into the garden once we've accepted Jesus as the Son of God and we become a member of the family of God, then we can enter into the garden once again and we can have that sweet, precious fellowship in the glory of God. See, Adam and Eve were clothed with the glory of God. It wasn't until they sinned and were disobedient that they said, we're naked. They came out of the supernatural and went into the natural realm. They saw themselves naked. They saw themselves afraid. Fear entered in at that point. And God came down to talk to them. And he said, where are you, Adam? And Adam said, we are hiding because we are afraid. 
But you see, Jesus, when he died on the cross, when he rose again, praise the name of Jesus, he bought our liberty. He bought our freedom. And he also gave us access back into the Garden of Eden. It says right here, I'm reading in Romans 5, and the verse that I want to get to right here is um, verse 18, 19. It says, Consequently, just as the result of one trespass was condemnation for all men, so also the result of one act of righteousness was justified that brings life to all men. And that's Jesus. That's what he did on the cross. He did that. He was obedient unto death. It says, For just as though through the disobedience of one man, many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of one man, and that's Jesus, the many were made righteous. Praise the name of Jesus. Isn't that good news? To me, that is good news. That I can walk in the beauty of God's garden. You know, behind me is this beautiful azalea plant. It's beautiful. It blooms and it, it has beautiful blossoms on it. Well, just think, as we go into that garden with our Father... There are so many beautiful things to see. We see His glory. We come into His glory. We step into His glory. Can you say amen? You know, I'm I'm teaching myself happy today. Because I want to be in that garden. I want to be right next to my Father. I want Him to come and fellowship with me. And I want to fellowship with Him. You know, in Luke ten nineteen, he says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. And that's where Adam and Eve were. And they gave it all up because they were deceived. They were deceived by Satan who entered in, who snuck in there. But praise God... Jesus Christ brought it back to us, and the enemy has no access there. In the Holy of Holies, the enemy has no access. When you come into the presence of Almighty God, the enemy cannot touch you there. In the glory, you are surrounded. You are protected. Oh, I just just thank the Lord right now, today that we can enter back into that garden and that fellowship with the Lord where He will walk with you, He will talk with you, He will share His love with you, He will embrace you with His arms, and you will rest in the glory of God. I encourage you this day to come back into the garden, to come back into right fellowship with the Lord. Those of you that have been far away right now, The Holy Spirit is touching your heart and He's saying, Come back. Come back into the supernatural. Get out of the natural and think on me. Meditate on me. Fellowship with me in the garden. In the garden. He will. Just come and bring us everything that we need. Everything you need, every provision that you need is in the garden. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray for those that are viewing today. I pray that uh, their bodies be healed, that their minds be healed, that their finances be healed, uh, that their ministries explode. Uh, Those that are preaching and teaching your word, Lord, let doors open up unto them. Lord, I speak an increase uh, to every person who is viewing uh, this video in Jesus' name. Because, Lord, in your mighty presence there is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. And I just speak over my viewers right now that you are going to come and you are going to show them your mighty 
mighty power, and you are going to clothe them with the glory that once was clo- uh, the Adam and Eve was clothed with, Lord. Let Jesus Christ come into your heart today so that you can walk in the garden with your Father. Thank you for viewing. God bless you.